Hello everybody, this is the Android Gamer. Today I'm playing <clears throat> this War of Mine Stories. Uh, sort of a spin-off of the original This War of Mine. Uh, we tell different stories in this. In this one in particular, I'm not sure if this is going to be an ongoing thing. That they'll be creating more and more stories, but this one in particular is called Father's Promise. Uh, I have already gone through it uh, myself, and so for, for the most part, it's a linear story set within the scenes and settings of this war of mine. So a lot of the <clears throat> places that we go to will look very familiar if you played it yourself or anything like that. Adam's fa family failed to flee the city in time. But they managed to get by somehow despite the siege. One day, Adam's wife fell ill. Without the proper medicine, Barbara died. After her death, Amelia became completely withdrawn and stopped speaking. Then she fell ill. <clears throat> One night, an explosion shook their tenement. But fortunately, they survived. Adam carried Amelia to another wing of the building, desperate to save his daughter. Everything will be all right, Amelia. We'll be safe here, I promise. Please rest now. You need to regain your strength. I will look around the house and see what I can find. <clears throat> I will be close, don't worry. I'll check on you soon. You should rest now. <laughs> yeah, so, other than that, for the most part, this is Adam. Feels just fine. And this is Amelia, who is currently unconscious. Interesting, different radio than the mo usual one. But same things. But for now, I gotta find a way to make a stove. Just make sure I need those. Let me see what I need first. Stove, I need five wood and seven materials. Get that I didn't want that. Scrapple, why not? So, yeah, so for the most part, most of the day, at least the first few days, you do exactly the same thing as you would with a regular game you scavenge from stuff from <clears throat> the place, try to find as much as you can. And in turn, then make stuff. Except for this one's a little bit different. I'm going to go up to that exclamation point in a second here. But I know there's something in here to proceed the narrative that I want to do first. Come on. <clears throat> Try to build the shovel. Yep. Damn this war, no child should go through this horror. If 
Finally, there we go. Lock pick. So there's that. Pick up the bear. Oh look, a plushie. It looks almost like new. Amelia will be so happy. <clears throat> Check what I found, kiddo. A plushy doggy. Look how cute and cuddly it is. Why don't you take care of it while Daddy takes care of you? Or him, I should say. What was that? Move you over here now. <clears throat> Mia looked so happy when I gave her the plushie. The smile on her face melts my heart. I wish she had more reason to smile, but under in these circumstances, gosh no. <clears throat> Need one more. I thought I needed seven. I need ten. I need seven more. That's what it was. No. Take that just in case. I figured as much, I have to pick this. <clears throat> Locked door, maybe there's some food or other stuff on the other side, or meds. One down here. Hey, Mr. Sweetie, Daddy will give you some to eat. So one here. No, everything else. But nothing that I can use. <clears throat> Seven o'clock. Foreheads burning. I need to find some meds. Find some food and make me something to eat. Get there in time. No. Cannot leave Amelia on her own. <clears throat> what if someone c comes in to her shelter? I need to protect her. So, yeah. So, he pretty much just stays. Day two. Night was calm. He's hungry. She's very hungry. Anyone, please, anyone, respond. My daughter is very sick. We need bandages or med and medicine. So 
everything okay with Amelia? I have to check. In a sec. What is it, kiddo? You want it to draw? I'll try to find you some crayons. You draw such pretty pictures. Run up here. I know there's a crayon over there, but there's no earthly way to get to it right away. Because the only way to get across... One second. I want to see what's in here. I see now someone's outside. All right. I already did that. <clears throat> there's nothing there I can make into... Hold on, I'm coming. My daughter is very sick. I need meds. Oh, you're the guy from the radio. Yes, do you have meds? <clears throat> meds are hard to come by, my friend. I beg you, she's all I have. All right, I'll do what I can, but I can't promise anything. I nearly got trod my way here. Okay, so he's off to do that. Try and see if I can get through here to get that last material for the stove. So I make some food. <clears throat> okay, she's not doing well. She's very hungry and severely ill. Come on, man, let's go. It's only a pile of rubble. Use those hands. Come on, come on. That's fun, almost trying to get back into this war of mine. I've been playing it on and off since the last time I recorded it, and done fairly well. I had a, I have a very good strategy to deal with playing through it now, so most of the time I have won. Okay, what's here? There you are. <laughs> Take that as well. <clears throat> and just in case he comes back today, See if I can trade these for anything. Make the stove. Yes. It's all I'm is right now is saving my little girl. No, he came back. 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can trade him for him. And also, it's the stuff that I need. Go. Okay, so I need that. You can me show me more. That's all I have. I'm just trying to save my baby. Oh, fine. Can I at least... You're not going to give me that. I should put that in there. Fine, never mind. Yes, I do have enough wood, as I should. I'm at 540. Good, right, I didn't click on that. you to make that. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, well, at least do this first. Let's show what this is. This is a perfect place to build a makeshift bridge. It can help me reach my old apartment. Maybe something can be salvaged from the building after the bombing. And the only thing is, when you go and look, to make the bridge, it costs 25 and 15, 25 materials and 15 lumber. That's a significant amount and you cannot find it here. So you pretty much have to go out at some point to try to get enough stuff, but you can't leave until, because so yeah, if I want to go to Brothers, I can't leave. So I just gotta stay. Unfortunately, I have no place to sleep. You guys don't want to sleep. So I'm getting more and more desperate and more and more tired. Okay, so let's give her... Hello, can anyone hear me? My kid is sick. My child is sick. I need help. Please, someone please answer me. I love you, Amelia. Be strong. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give her some food. Look, Munchkin, I ha I found food. I know you're sick and I feel like eating, but you need to eat to be strong. <clears throat> I can really feel for the sad that he's... Mm -hmm. In war, he just he lost his wife before this, and now his daughter is almost sick, or is sick. Who's this outside? Took your sweet time. Can we talk? Not you again. I told you already. 
Adam, grab Amelia and let's go. She's our ticket out of here. This humanitarian corner. Corridor I told you about. We're in luck, brother. They're prioritizing parents with children. She's not your ticket. She's my daughter. And there's no way she'll survive that in her current state. I'll carry her and make frequent stops. They'll kill us before we get anywhere. I'll have to carry her and make frequent stops. They'll kill us before we get anywhere. That's what it's supposed to be. Always the pessimist. I'm sure she'll make it, and she's our only chance to get out of, uh, chance out of this hell. <clears throat> Listen to yourself. Willing to risk her life for, like this. Like that. I just want to get us out of here, man. Don't you want to, too, and for Amelia to be safe? If you're too scared, I'll take her myself. Listen to me very... Listen to me carefully. You touch her, I'll kill you. Man, Adam, I don't want to see you here again. That's how you treat your, your brother? Man. What did you say? My fool of a brother can get himself killed if he wants to, but I won't risk Amelia's life by carrying her through the middle of a war zone. We'll find the corridor when the worst fighting is over. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get through that door there. Still good. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting how they created this linear story within the existing game. And it's really done rather well. Um, I mean, it would be good if they want you to get over to the other side here, <clears throat> as we'll see in a minute. Uh, that they give you the materials readily available on this side to make the bridge right away, or just say, hey, make the bridge out of this much stuff. But no, they had to make you go pining for all the materials. Because <clears throat> as we'll see right now, if I try to go for this door, it's buried from the other side, so I can't do anything until I get that bridge put together and I do not have the materials here in order to do it. Now let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. It's 1 p.m. Anything else I can do right now? <coughs> no. Because I can't build anything. I can't build that yet. Which I'm going to need later on. So. I'm just going to speed it up here. Because a day. I still can't do anything. So I'll guard. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me, day four. Something terrible happened. Days of watching Amelia without rest has taken their toll. Adam passes out from exhaustion. When he regains consciousness, he realizes that bed is empty. Amelia is nowhere to be found. Where's Amelia? I can't remember a thing from the night. I must have blacked out from exhaustion. Did she go somewhere? Did did someone take her? I must find my daughter. I must have blacked out from exhaustion. Yeah, that's this just terrible. What happened here? My brother must have taken her. I'll kill him. There's no time to waste. I must find her. I need to find her. No sense of struggle. Oh, hold the phone. Oh, that's when I'm dead. Ah, oh, Adam and Amelia and their dead mother. Amelia and her love of drawings. Even when we couldn't find crayons, she still found us a way. <clears throat> There's a letter, Adam, even though things are not great for us, we're still brothers. You're too proud. Come through, come live in my house when you're, you're destroyed. At least uh, be reasonable now. There were talks of, yeah, that's the whole thing before. Really forgot about this letter, my damn brother. Let's go. Footsteps of a grown man. My brother really did it. I need to pay him a visit. Brother's house. Prepare. So yeah, this is the same as if you're by yourself in the regular game that you have to take everything of value with you. There wouldn't be anything else. <clears throat> it looks abandoned. I'd rather check. I'd rather check thoroughly. Well, you might be in, inside. Anyone home? Brother! Nothing here. That. The water. Grab those. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Locked. There's, this is where my brother stores his guns. Pretty sure he has the key on him. Grab all that. Amelia, are you here? Did 
Take that. And just in case the guy the birders comes back. What a mess. What are these documents? Pile of papers, none of from people I know. Some mention the humanitarian corner corridor. He will find something that will lead me to where Amelia is. Okay, have a look. <clears throat> Full now, okay. There's a lot on the floor. We're doing it tonight. The, pavement, the government forces have finally listened to the UN and have and are opening the corridor. <clears throat> Road DL1 is supposed to be safe for 24 hours. We can finally get out of this hellhole. You know the place. G. P.S. Make sure to stop by your pharmacy on the way. We need the meds and band-aids we can get. All the meds and band-aids we can get. We have many sick and wounded, including children. They're heading for the pharmacy. All right. Adam's back. <clears throat> hungry. My brother must have taken Amelia and is planning to escape with her via the humanitarian corridor. He'll visit his pharmacy and take what he can before going to the rally point. I must catch him at the pharmacy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave this first episode here. I was hoping to see if I can finish this all up in one big video, but looks like I'm going to have to back it up a little bit. So, if you want to continue watching this and see what happens, uh, please subscribe to my video and click on the notifications to receive any future videos. It's Android Gamer, Lair Days, and Happy Gaming!